tour. No, I just want to congratulate, you know, Vermont, first of all, I got to start with them because they're a heck of a play, a heck of a team. The coach, I mean, winning, being picked to win the conference this year and then coming off the championships and getting the NCAA tournament has an awesome team. Very, very hard to, to coach against. I mean, they have so many sets and so many great weapons and athletes, so definitely want to give them a huge shout out and thank them for coming here. Um, but with our team here, I'm so proud of our women and just how we fought back and how we stay steady. You know, we got down a little bit. I believe we got down. Yeah, we got down a little bit for sure. And then we came to fought back. And so that was huge. Uh, I loved our poise. I got to give a shout out to Gracie Fosa and Bryn Farrell for just their minutes because Gracie played 40 minutes. So, but really a team, team, team effort. I mean, even the bench, like we needed all, everything we had, you know, all, all the weapons we had, even if it was just yelling, you know, screaming, all that good stuff. So it was really, it was, it was a huge game, a huge win. It was huge. So I was so excited. So coach, coming into this one, you know, one of the focuses here to you is turnover. Taking yeah. care of the basketball. 23 against half today, only 13. What was the difference in terms of taking the basketball? Yeah, no, I, you know what, I gotta give them a lot of credit because leading up to this game, we did a lot of pressure work in practice and I really think that carried over. Um, but just really talking about just catching the ball first, running through the ball, if you will, meeting every pass, knowing that the women that we're playing tonight are great athletes as well. So just more of just reminding them and taking an individual conscious effort to meet every pass and just making sure that the, the passes that we're making are short. Does that make sense? Like I want, I want, I don't like awesome passes. It loses my, I lose my mind. So I'm with the short thing. So they did a great job. And in the first game, you know, you had two big performances in terms of scoring. Grace, Olivia, each with 20 plus. Today, it's much more balanced. Yeah. 14 from Olivia, 12 from Kyla, 10 each from Grace and yeah. Bryn, and another eight from Marta. So what was the key to that in terms of making that a more balanced score? Yeah, no, again, we've been, since I've been here, I've been talking about just you know, having that sisterhood and really sharing the ball. I love this. This is ideal. Where everyone is moving the ball and you know, they're all ready to score. That's now you have weapons, okay? So now you gotta, you gotta scout everybody, you know, which I love. So really it's just repetition and again, the power of words and encouraging and giving them a little bit of confidence, you know, and motivation to wanna get, to know it's okay, you can shoot it. I'm okay, but you gotta go get it too, yeah. You talked about cutting down your turnovers. You're capitalizing on Vermont's mistakes today outscoring them 24 to five on points off turnover. What was the key there? Wow, I wanna go, I wanna go, go, go. And I think we finally at the beginning we we're kind of slow with transition, but we got some transition points further on into the game. And so really when they turn the ball over, we got to go. And that's really what we do in practice every day as well. I'm trying to get them, get, get our women to score in transition as quickly as possible, but then downshift, okay? But yes, if they turn the ball over, we need to make them pay. And so really it's just again, watching and practicing every day. Going down the stretch, seeing Olivia calling for the ball inside, pointing up, telling her teammates, throw it up, I'll go get it. As a former post player yourself, how much oh, you like to see that? I love it. I do. I will tell you, Marta threw that thing up and she had four people in them. I found her, I think, but she went and got it. But I love that. And the fact that Olivia asked for it and then they gave it, they believe that she can do it. That right there is an intangible team thing that will take us far. I really believe that. I really believe that.